Hello friends, welcome back to Cool IT Help. In this tutorial session, we are going to install Microsoft SQL Server on Mac OS. If you have a Mac M1, M2, M3 chip based Mac machine, you can proceed with this tutorial. Let's begin with a very important note. So as per Microsoft documentation, we cannot directly install Microsoft SQL Server on Mac OS, right? So what we need to do, here we are going to install Microsoft SQL Server with the help of Docker. Okay, those who are not aware about the Docker, please check my first tutorial how to install the Docker. No worries, you will get all the details. Here I have noted down all the steps I am going to follow. Also, I will explain all these points one by one. The first one. We need to download and install Docker software on our Mac machine. After that, we need to create a Docker account that will help to run the Docker image. After that, we need to download a SQL client. This is SQL Azure client. This will help us to interact with the SQL server which will run on a Docker. Number three. So the third requirement is we need to download SQL Server container image which is required to run the Docker. So this is the actual Microsoft SQL Server setup which is coming in the form of container image, right? And this is the keyword with the help of this keyword. We will search Chrome browser and we will download it. After that, we will do some additional settings to set up and create the connection with the SQL Server. Let's begin. Open your favorite browser and type docker download for macOS in the search bar. Press enter. Then you will see some results. So you have to open this one in new tab. Once you see this page, you will find this is the docker official download page. And this is the trustworthy place to download the docker, right? When you see on, the, on this page, we have the option for those who have the Mac Apple Silicon based PC, then they can proceed with the first option. And those who have the Intel chip based Mac, then proceed with the second one, right? So I have the Apple Silicon chip M2 Mac Mini. So I'm going to proceed with this option. Just click on it. So once you click on it, you will see the downloading is started. We have to wait for the complete downloading. Okay, once the downloading is finished, we will go inside the download folder and we will find one DMG file here. We have to simply double click on it. Once you double click, you will find this message. We are getting this because we have not downloaded this DMG file from the App Store. That's why Mac operating system showing us this warning. We have to go at the Apple icon, click on the system settings. Then come here in the privacy and the security section. On the right hand side, just scroll down and come to the security section. Here you can see the message, Docker DMG is blocked. Now click on this button, open anyway. When you see this pop-up, just enter the Mac password and click on this modify settings, right? Again, you will see one pop-up, click open. After that, you will see this window. So the instructions are very clear. We have to drag and drop this Docker application into applications folder. Once you do it, you can see this progress bar and the Docker application copying process started. Okay. In few seconds, this will be completed. Now we will move inside the applications folder. So you can go from this place. Also, you can find this through the finder. Right now we are in the in applications folder. Here we have this Docker application icon. We have to simply double click on it. Once you do it, again, you will see a warning message from the Mac, right? So again, we have to repeat the same process. Now click on this OK button and then go to again. The privacy and security option on the right hand side 
come at the security section click on this button open anyway give the password and click on this modify settings button right again you will see one pop-up box click open and then you will see on the top right hand side the docker icon right so process is started and once we accept this terms and service agreement the setup process will be completed so you will see this welcome screen also we have this big blue button if you want to read the terms and agreement or service agreement conditions you can simply click on this link and read it right and after that simply click on this accept button and then you will see the second window here we have to select the first radio button use recommended settings right which is for the password with the help of password we can log in now again give the mac password click ok and you will see the docker desktop home screen so at this place we have to sign up first if we don't have any docker account so we are performing this activity first time on our mac mini so we have to sign up simply click on this sign up button and you will be redirected to this page so this process is very straightforward we can simply create an account by providing the email id username and password and we simply click on this sign up button then you will receive one email on your given email id so please click on the verification link and verify your account then come back and then use user id and password and login inside the docker account once you do it you will see this message and you will be logged in inside the docker desktop the very first screen you will see is the survey screen and you can skip this one no need to fill this survey this is not mandatory there's a link at the at the bottom click on it and you are here so this is all set up now we will perform some activity on the left hand side you can see the options like container images volume build docker on the right hand side of the icon you simply click and see the status the green signal docker desktop is running we have the option to pause we have option to restart we have option to quick docker desktop so friends we have already downloaded the docker and installed it successfully let's jump to the point number two here we are going to download sql azure client okay open the chrome browser and type sql azure client download keyword press enter you will get some results so see here the first one download and install azure data studio right open in the new browser tab and see here this is the official download page right this is the trusted source just scroll down and look for the download section here all type of installer available right for the windows for the mac os and the linux so here see the section mac os right so in front of that you can see the universal intel chip and the apple silicon right two different links are available for use those who have intel chips based mac will proceed with this link and those who have apple silicon chip chip like m1 m2 m3 and m4 will proceed with this link i have m2 chip i'm going to proceed with this second link just click on it to download here we go downloading this is started and see this 194 mb is the size of this zip file so please wait for the download completion i'm not going to proceed with this download i have already downloaded one zip file let me show you so this is present in the downloads folder here see this you will get such type of zip file 
Now we have to simply double click on this zip file to open it with the zip utility. Okay, soon you will see the Azure Data Studio application here, right? The next thing we have to do, we have to copy this application into our applications folder, right? Let's do it. Just drag and drop here. This is installed inside the applications folder. Great. Go to the launch pad and now search Azure Data Studio here. Launch it. If you do it first time, you will get this pop up box like this app is blocked by the Apple security, right? So just click OK and let's fix this. Now we have to go to the Apple icon, go to the system settings. Here in the settings, just scroll down. Now click on this privacy and security. Okay, now go on the right hand side. Just scroll down and look for the security section. Here you can see the security warning. Azure Data Studio is blocked from use because it is not from trusted developers, right? But we have a way, just click open any way, right? And this will ask the admin password, means your Mac password. Please enter the Mac password and click modify settings. Here we go. Again, you will get a pop-up box, like click open. And the application will be launched. Right, so this is the Azure Data Studio interface, right? Here we have a new button with some options. With the help of these options, we can create new connection. We can open new query window as well, right? We will use these options later, right? Meanwhile, I'm going to close this application. We will come back here later. Let's back go back to here in the notepad. So friends, we have successfully downloaded and installed the SQL Azure client. Let's jump to the step number three. So step number three, here we are going to download the Microsoft SQL Server container image for the Docker, right? Because we need it to run on the Docker, right? So first we need to download it, right? So how we will proceed? Let me show you. So just copy this keyword and go back to your Chrome browser, open new tab and type here in the search box. Okay, once you press enter, you will see some results. Okay, so just look for the Docker Hub and this is the website where we will get the container image for the Microsoft SQL Server. Great. Let's open this in a new tab. So friends, we are here on the Docker Hub. This is the official and trusted source to download the Microsoft SQL Server container image. You can see all the details are mentioned. On the right hand side, we have a command to pull this image in the Docker desktop, right? And then on the left hand side, there are details how to use the image and how we can run it inside the Docker. I will explain you everything. Let's go one by one. So this is the step number three that will be performed will be the, with the help of commands. Okay. Uh, let's discuss a bit about the step number four. So right now we are going to include the step number four. We will do some additional setup as well. Now open the Docker desktop. Once you open the Docker desktop, you will see this kind of interface. Great. Now, when you see the status on the top, Docker is up and running. Let's minimize. So what we need to do, we have to execute this pull command. Go to this page, copy the command. Now go to the terminal this way and paste this command. Simply press enter and wait for the complete downloading of the container image. Once it is done, you will get this kind of message downloaded, right? Now we can proceed further. 
So when you go back into the Docker, you will find one entry like mcr.microsoft.com and the status is unused because we have just pulled this image. When you go back to this page where we got the pull command here, the instructions mentioned how to use this image in the Docker, right? So there's another command, right? We have to use this command to run this image in the Docker, right? So we have to prepare this command first and this is very simple. So I have uh, that command ready here in the notepad. See this? Three things I have changed. The first one is the password. Second one is the MSSQL PID, which is developer and the MSSQL user, which is the system administrator, the SA. You can use the same thing or you want to change it, you can do it your own. So I have placed this command in the description for your convenience. Please copy the command and you can use it. So see this, I have updated these three things from that command, which was present on the web page. And this will run on the port number 1433. Let's copy this command. And now open the terminal again. Let's clear some previous things. And paste this command here. Now press enter. And this command is executed successfully. And how do you know this is executed? You will see the same kind of string, right? You can see the selected string on the screen. So if you get this string, that means this is executed successfully. And when you come back here in the desktop, Docker desktop, you will see the status is changed. Now this is showing in use. Okay, we are good to proceed. Okay, friends, now go back to the launch pad and uh, we are going to open the Azure Data Studio, which is the Azure client. So we are going to connect this client with the MS SQL Server database, right? Okay, go to the new and click on the new connection, then you will get this kind of fields. So please enter server. Okay, the username is SA, the password is same, which we have used in that command, right? When you come here, when you click on the connect, you will get a message. Now click on the enable trusted service certificate, right? And bingo, we are connected with the Microsoft SQL Server. Okay, when you click here in this database option, you can select the any database, like uh, what are the database present, you can see. And uh, if you want to query on any database, simply click on the query window. Let's do some activity. So I'm going to create a table, right? So I have prepared a create a statement and the insert a statement. So we will check is this working or not, right? So I have selected one database master and I'm going to create a table. Okay, so query executed successfully, one table is created. Let's enter some details in this table. Going to insert some records. So insert query is there. And uh, okay, so just run it. So five rows affected, that's great. Okay, let's uh, check what we have inserted. So let's run a select command here. Here we go. See this, records are present. We have just inserted. So friends, this is working properly. And you can proceed with the database. You can perform some activities. You can do your learnings. You can do your practicals here. So friends, we have seen the installation of the Microsoft SQL Server on Mac OS with the help of Docker. I hope you guys found this tutorial relevant and useful please hit the like button to appreciate. And if you want to learn more, you can subscribe our channel. And for now, thanks for watching. Cool IT help.